He's sneaking his bed tonight. Tonight we've got Crunch Bang Linux Alpha 2 Slater Edition, or Slater, that's what they call in the Alpha anyway. As you can see, got a bit of conky up there, show my runtime, how much RAM I'm using, how much swap. Fully installed, so that's using 2.1 of the gig on the hard drive, so that's super cool. Shortcut keys as usual for Crunch Bang. Now this one I found a lot more stable than the Alpha 1, which I didn't even bother to do, because it just kept crashing on me, because it was a bit of poo. But this one seems fine. Run down the menu, this is all you get. Catfish, Archive Manager, Get It, Terminator, Thunar File Manager, for some reason. Gimpy's here. Right. Bit of an issue I've got at the moment, because it's coming from with the Debian Squeeze repositories. I found everything's a bit slow. Very, very, very slow. So that was one negative. But it's an alpha, so they're still working on it, so give them plenty of time and we'll see how we go. And the install took bleeding ages as well. God, if you had a really old computer, you'd be bored, put it that way. So, you anyway, know, Gimpy does come up eventually fine. So that's right, and normally it runs better the second time around anyway, once you've done it once. I'll go up to graphics, I'll take a screenshot. So I'll click now, and see if that works. And Bob's your uncle, there we go, screenshot works. Nice, lovely, jubbly, jubbly. So that's okay, there's some good bits. It's not as uh, fast as some of the others, but remember that... They, for some reason, they're going over to Debian based now, sort of, although it's still Ubuntu based as well. So they're in between. So I think as it goes on, you'll see it get better. But remember, the squeeze repositories ooh, ooh, blimey, can be a bit picky as well. Got XChat, Pedo microblogging, Office. Now, I didn't install OpenOffice because that took another 200 odd meg of downloading. I've just left with Abbey Word and Gene America, which is fine for me. I don't really need the full Office suite, to be really honest with you. I'm fine with Abbey Word and Gene America. And you see, it was a bit s slow. Mind you, then again, I've been using some small distros lately, and they're like under one second they'll jump into, so I've got a bit spot really, haven't I? Anyway, Ice Weasel's your browser, forgot to tell you that. Places, all usual places. There you go, look. Temporary video documents. Install Dropbox if you really wanted to, that's okay. And here we have our settings for competing, conky. Ooh, what else have we got? Bad chest, hay fever. <clears throat> Display settings you can change, navigation. Use it interface settings, power management, screen savers, and choose a wallpaper. So we'll go to the choose wallpaper settings. It's still pretty dark, isn't it? I'm not sure. I, I think I might want a bit of colour on my background there. And it's alright to start with, but it gets a bit, you know, dark. Printers, I've installed the stuff for printing. G part is there. Own desktop manager, and Synaptic. So we'll open up old Synaptic eBaby. I've already reloaded it anyway. So that's, everything's all there and fine. I'll open it up for you. We'll scroll down, just see a few little bits and bobs, it's all there. There's all the Abbey Word stuff that's already installed, as standard. I think the total install took over an hour, actually, by the time you get all the extras from Debian. That's quite a long time. I didn't like that bit. I was just sitting there doing my thumb, sort of. Anyway, Crunchbang Linux. We'll go to Crunchbang Linux Planet. So, I'll click on there. Ice Weasel should come up. There we go. That's super cool. Obviously, it's where the community gets together and does stuff. That's really nice. Nice bit of community. Super. We'll go to the home page, and there it is. Crunch Benedix tells you all about it, what they're doing, what they're up to, topics in the forums, etc, etc. So that's pretty super. If you want to go and get it, what do you do? Well, you can scroll down and you won't get anywhere. If you go up to the top where the green box is, get to Crunch Band Linux. Now if you click on this bit here, you'll get several editions. You get the standard, 64-bit, 32-bit, and you get a light. Now, I normally prefer the light, personally, because it's like only 400 meg, because it's still a 630 meg download, even though it's supposed to be stripped back, so it's still quite large on the whole, isn't it? If we go to the development release, which is the Slater 10, there we go, I've got the one for, not the 686, I've got one down a bit further down, which is for the 486, open box edition. It's supposed to be a lot lighter, and runs along with machines, different kernel, of course. So, you know, it works all right. No crashing for me this time, so a big improvement, shall we say? Yeah. So what do I think on the whole? Yeah. It's getting better. I was really disappointed the last time. Anyway, we'll go to the Bibica, just to check out the browser, just one more time. Colours come up nice, looks all super to me. Does it look super to you? It does to me. The text is nice and clear as well. Sometimes I've done some of the distros, the text comes up all different wrong fonts, that sort of thing, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I did run... Sorry, I did install GTK record my desktop. Now, to run a program, basically, all you do is type in its name. Now, wherever I've got the GTK on the front, where it ain't working, 
It's another thing because it just didn't want to play ball. It thought about it for about a second, and they went, "Nah, mate, I ain't going down there." So that was a bit of a pity, but I'll have a little play with it for a couple of days and see how we get on. So yeah, on the whole, quite nice, a big improvement, but I want to see better in the beaters, basically, at the end of the day. But yeah, I like it, it's cool. How many out of five? Three, I'm afraid. Sneaky Linux out. <laughs>